mini golf is sort of this experience where the mini golf ball goes on a journey and you as the player get to sort of live vicariously through that mini golf ball. So as the player, you can't fit into all these little nooks and crannies, but your mind sort of goes on a journey with the mini golf ball. So the Artist Design Mini Golf Course is a mini golf course obviously designed by artists. And it's all local mini Minnesota artists that have designed the course. And basically it's a spin on traditional mini golf. So it has a total of 27 artists and it's over the course of 15 holes. The Walker's always been interested in pop art and popular culture in ways that we can kind of bring that into the things that we do. And we're also interested in different ways of, of audience engagement. Well, the first one came back in uh, 2003, and with the success of that course, became a lot of clamoring for doing it again. And the second course actually was in 2008. And this summer, with the 25th anniversary of the Sculpture Garden, it seemed like an appropriate time to bring it back. We did a call for artists to come in and produce, produce the designs, and they go with me to some of the curators, including myself, to be selected for this course. Two of our artists, uh, Tom Loftus and, and Robin Schwartzman, are mini golf experts. They're local here, they produce the watering can hole for the course, but they also uh, write for a blog called A Couple of Putts, which they developed, which reviews mini golf courses both regionally and nationally. Okay. Don't mess this one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our first date was at a mini golf course together, and we both really enjoyed the sport before we met each other and then we decided that we liked doing it together. So we were just playing on dates and then it kind of turned into, well, we're doing this enough, why don't we start blogging about it? There you go. Our hole is called Can You Handle This? And the reason is twofold. One is that it talks about the element of skill that's involved. And the other is that if you can handle this, we gave an option for people to shoot to a hole to the side of it. So a lot went into the actual construction of the whole. Um, building something that has to be outside for three months is a challenge within itself, but then also considering that 50,000 people are gonna be playing it and touching it, and you've got a audience of all ages holding a golf club is kind of tricky to work around, so you have to really think about durability and material. It's holding up good considering. <laughs> we asked the University of Minnesota to produce two of the holes. One was Mega Golf, so it's basically this really giant golf ball that has a small scale version of the Walker campus that you putt around on the inside of it. And then the second one they did is this Ames room, which is um, kind of an optical illusion where you putt into this space that seems like a small room, uh, but with a slanted floor. And depending on where you stand in there, you'll appear either really large or really small in perspective. This year, I will say the artist did an exceptional job of making not only aesthetically pleasing holes, but holes that played very well and functioned really well as an overall course. Well, I think this course is special for us as, as mini golf lovers and bloggers because it's a really unique local course. The idea of having a temporary one that's designed by many different people within one course makes it special in a way that one of the commercially run ones, you know, it's sort of either made by a company or all made by the same voice or vision. So this has a lot of variety. And the fact that it's temporary makes it special because you can only play it within a certain period of time and then it's gone forever. <laughs> <laughs>